Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new week of dinners but this week is not just any old dinner we are doing Halloween themed dinners so let's get started. So first we're starting out with spiderweb pancakes. First I started with the Kodiak cakes but it was just too thick so I ended up going to the Bisquick and following the directions on the back for pancakes because it was just a little bit thinner and it helped a lot because I used this squeeze bottle and it did not get clogged up. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to make an X and then an X across the from that and then make your web and that is how you do it i did break this one and then jason's like let me show you how to do this and look at his web it was not very good at all i had to make fun of him on this i'm like what in the world is that so i went and fixed it for him but i have noticed when you the more you do the hotter your pan is the better it is first off and the smaller you do it the better the web came out. So there you guys have it. I made really awesome webs once I got started and did a few. Now I'm gonna make these hash browns. I just took them out of the freezer. You can find these in the freezer section and I put them in my air fryer for about seven minutes on 350 degrees. And once that was going, I went ahead and fried up some eggs. Okay, now that everything's done, I just took a squeeze bottle, added some ketchup to it, and put RIP on the hash browns, and then I put some ketchup on the eggs to make it look like a big eyeball with blood. So there is your pancakes with spider webs. You have your RIP hash brown and your bloody eyeball eggs. For snack tonight, we had some cupcakes. Now for night two, we had some meatloaf, mashed potatoes, bread and green beans. This is how I made the meatloaf. I just took some really extra lean ground beef, added it to a bowl, and then I added the egg, the milk, and breadcrumb. Salt with pepper and mixed it up well. Now I'm going to shape it into a dead body or Sophia would say a gingerbread man. <laughs> I thought it looked like a gingerbread man too, but whatever. So you just add the body, the head, the legs, and the feet. And then for the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and cut up some cheese. Just cut those into sticks and crisscross them like X's. So it looks like he is a dead body. Now I'm just gonna take some ketchup and add it to his body to make it look like he is bleeding. Once you are done with that, you're gonna stick it in a 350 degree oven until he is done. I cooked them for about 20 minutes because it was so thin. And then I got some mashed potatoes and green beans ready to cook. And now I'm going to go ahead and take the bread and make some snake bread. So what you're gonna do is just take some long bread or croissant rolls. I just get the long sheets. I'm gonna roll it up and make a little snake. And you're just gonna continue that until you've made all of your snake. To cook the snakes, just follow the package directions. Once that is done, you are done with that. And then I'm gonna take the mashed potatoes and stick it in a piping bag, and you're going to pipe the mashed potatoes like a ghost. So you're going to start thick at the end and then work your way up and go really thin and then pinch the top of the potato stack. And you're just gonna keep on going around this little dead man until you have all of your ghost. And there you have a dead man meatloaf, ghost mashed potatoes, snake bread, and some green beans. Now for a quick easy dessert, I have these Reese's peanut butter cookies. I'm just gonna take 12 of them out and pop them in the oven and follow the package directions. Once those are done and cooled off, make sure they're cooled off, you're going to take some frosting, add it to the center and make it like a sandwich, and then you're gonna roll the sides into the sprinkles. And that is it. These are so delicious, so amazing, and just a five minute dessert. Next up, we have some monster sliders, some brownies, barbecue beans, and some spiderweb mashed potatoes. First, let's get started with the cheesecake swirl brownies. I just had a box. I used the directions on the back of it and also cooked 
like the directions on the back set. But instead of using the white cream cheese, I went ahead and added a little bit of orange to it and made it Halloween style. Once you are done with both mixtures, you're gonna go ahead and take the brownies, put those on the bottom, put the orange on the top, and then just swirl it all together. I put it in a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes or until they are done. You can take a toothpick and put them through. Now let's get started on the dinners. For the monster sliders, you're gonna take some beef and just patty them up. I made them kind of small because I wanted to make sliders. And then you're gonna put them in a pan and cook those up. Now that those are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get the barbecue beans nice and warm, and then I'm gonna get the cheese set up. So what I did was took a slice of cheese and kind of made teeth out of them. And then I stuck them on the burger and melted them. Now I'm going to take my bread sliders and put the burgers on top with the cheese hanging out so it looks like his teeth are showing. I'm going to add some ketchup and then top the buns. Now that the ketchup is on there, I'm gonna go ahead and squish them down so it looks like the ketchup is blood. And then I'm gonna take some of these green olives and stick a toothpick through them. I didn't have small toothpicks, but that's okay. They still looked super cute. And you're going to stick them on the top to make them look like eyeballs. And there you have your monster sliders. Now on to the mashed potatoes. I took the easy way out and just used some of these mashed potatoes in a bag. I cooked those up. For the, with the directions on the back and then I stuck it in a round pan. Once you smooth that all out, you're gonna go ahead and take some cheese and add it to the top, put it in the oven and let the cheese melt. When I brought it out of the oven, I let it sit for a few minutes so that way it would not melt this sour cream. So I took some sour cream and put it in a bag and then I just added a web to it. And of course you can't have a web without spiders. So I added a couple of spiders to it as well. And there you have an amazing delicious meal with these monster sliders. I also have the brownies that look yummy and delicious. Once you open those up, they have the orange all in the center. So yummy and gooey. And then I have these mashed potatoes with cheese and sour cream. And of course the barbecue beans. For the last dinner, it's super easy. We're gonna end the week with a super easy one. We have some pizza and a cookie pizza. So let's go ahead and get started. I got a box pizza dough and I just followed the directions on the back. Super easy, just add some water and you're done. Roll it out into a circle and then you're going to add your sauce and your toppings. Okay, Sophia, you're going to make a mummy. Do you know what a mummy is? A mom wrapped in paper. A mom wrapped in paper. Or toilet paper. Perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna use the sauce. I have sauce here, some eyeballs. I have t um, some of these pepperonis if you want them, and some cheese. So let's get started. Once you have put the sauce on and you are going to go ahead and do your topping, set your oven at 350 degrees and just cook it until it is done. It took me about 15 to 20 minutes to cook this pizza so that way the dough was done and the cheese was melted on top. And it was amazing. Now as for the cookie dough, I just took the rolled cookie dough and laid it out and made a circle and then put it in your oven 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Okay, and there you have a mummy pizza. Allison just did um, spider pizza <laughs> and Sophia did a monster pizza. So you guys can basically do anything that you want and it will look cute no matter what. This is probably the easiest dessert. You're gonna take some frosting and just put it on top. I used a little bit of green food coloring and orange food coloring to change the colors, obviously. And then just take 
the cream frosting and put it all over the top and then take some sprinkles we have halloween ones here and that is it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video happy halloween everyone Thank you.